Yo, what up? It's Pete from CT Sets. Just want to give y'all a few words before the first, you know, CT Sets sponsored slash booked by show. It's been a good journey booking and talking to people and all that, albeit very stressful. Um, but it's, it's been good vibes and I want to do this more. So venues, please reach out to me. I would love to work on stuff. So I hope that y'all out there, the community, really, really pop out to the show to make it one of a kind, magical, a special experience. With the bands that we have booked, it's already special because they're all incredible bands. Like, absolutely. Like, their music is like ascension level. Like, anyways, tomorrow, Tall Boys, Missile Smalta, and Rocket Vinyl are all playing at Howard's Bookstore in Torrington. It's gonna be my brother, my little brother's first show. And we have all that merchandise in there. I hope to see y'all there. And, uh, catch you tomorrow. Yo, it's the day of. The ninth, that's the Joe Flo, the old dying Joe right there, you know. Pick that out. We got two balls. Mad shirts, right? Bracelets, necklaces, stickers, lighters. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. You're just so cute. We down here. We down here. <laughs> we got the water. We down here. Is this working? Is it? Let me see. It's the black. Yeah, no. <laughs> the lens cap was on. <laughs> oh my god. They can hear us though. Yeah, they can. Got the shirts. Boom. Boom. Ah, no. <laughs> this way. <laughs> I failed three out of three times. <laughs> Jamie J. Tilly, Torrington Live, amazing photographer. This guy. <laughs> what is your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza? Um, I know it's controversial. I'm going to say this first of all. I know it's controversial because people either love it or they flip out about it. Yeah. Just yeah. me? The Jamie, camera Jamie, person? Jamie gave me that idea. One piece of like, well, really just for a smaller kid. Um. There's a notebook right over there where you can put your name and put a bid. And if you are the highest bid at the about five minutes or so after our last song, you will go home with the painting. Uh, Elizabeth does a completely different painting every single time we play, and just so you know, this is show 1002 that we Woo! played. We just... This this bar called the Booby Trap. <laughs> um, maybe I don't know, 20 or 30 people there. No one paid attention. It was a real bad show. Even the people who like came for us and beforehand were like, "We were talking about it." They just like talked and stuff the whole time. And we were like on stage. It was really bad. And we got in the car afterwards, having made more money than, it was like in the top five gigs that we've ever, in terms of financially played. And it was horrible. 
and we got in the car <laughs> at like 12 30. We kind of looked at each other and it was almost this like whiplash where we were like like that wasn't fun. You ever get like a lot of money and you're like oh, was that worth it? You didn't connect with anyone and it's it's made us think and reflect a lot about the kind of shows we want to play going forward. Look, we have stuff, and I'd love to sell it to you. Don't get me wrong. But the whole point of any of this, at least from us, is like, I, I just, just want to see each other. And completely bastardizing that entire statement that I just said. <laughs> if you'd like to give us money for something. <laughs> Music thing, if you want a t-shirt with an owl and a, a wolf, if, if, if you still like DVDs. <laughs> you want to buy one and be like, hey, isn't it funny I have a lot of DVD? Yeah, by all means. We have those of the movie we made, comics, uh, the painting, Elizabeth has prints of other paintings. If you notice a lot of these songs about hope are like bottom of the barrel, like, no, I'm gonna do it! Kind of hope. <laughs> Research. 